Billing itself as the Tesla of boats, pure watercraft sounded like a crazy idea to me. Water and electricity obviously don't mix, but as a longtime eco geek, I jumped at the chance for a demo. CEO Andy Reveille offered to take me out for a ride to see how quiet and fast the new Pure Outboard system is. Yes, taking your work outside is the best, but it wasn't just the allure of a boat ride. There are more than 12 million registered boats in the US today, 2 million of which are light enough to use this new EV system. Reveille thinks there's opportunity in the sailing, boating, and water sports community to swap loud, gas-powered engines for Pure's quiet, eco-friendly alternative. So this is a hull from Stillwater Design, which is the leading provider of coaching launches to rowing coaches around the country. And what we're using it for now is to demonstrate the outboard motor, battery pack, and charger system from your Pure Watercraft. And let me show you where it is. So here on the back of the boat, we have our outboard motor. On the, on the bottom, we have in the, the torpedo shape, we've got the electric motor. And then in line with the electric motor, we have a gear set and then a propeller on the back. Up above, we have the power electronics on top. And in between the two, we have an anti-ventilation plate that keeps bubbles from getting down into the propeller while it's running. The idea of an electric boat, electricity and water, it's a little scary. That's right. How does this exactly work? We get that question a lot. And get, making a high performance electric vehicle that operates on the water is hard but that's why it's worth doing. So we design our system to be uh, what a layperson would call waterproof. In technical terms, they'd call it IP67. Every piece of our system, including the battery packs, could be submerged up to one meter in water up to 30 minutes, including the plugs where we plug our batteries and motor, and motor together. What inspired you to so go after this hardware problem? is hard, but hard things are worth doing and easy things are not worth doing. It was not motivating or interesting to me to go out and try to be the next the next website that does the same thing the next website does but for a different product. That was, wasn't as intellectually challenging and wouldn't have the same impact on the world as what we're doing here. So I've been around boats a lot and experienced the downside. I've smelled gasoline fumes, I've had to try to turn a boat on and it doesn't work. I've had to uh, come and jumpstart a boat when I brought friends to go out on it. I've experienced all these problems and I thought this would be a great way to solve all of them in one step. The thing that really stood out to me was how quiet it was. Even at full throttle, I could easily converse and hear the seals barking. Sound pollution in and on the water has long been an issue. Fishermen are worried about scaring off a catch, coaches are worried about hearing loss, and it's hard to hang out and relax with all that noise. In addition to sound pollution, gas-powered motors cause other environmental problems. As much as 30% of the fuel that goes through outboard systems gets released unburned, adding hydrocarbons to the air and raising the level of toxins in the water. Being green is a huge perk, but range anxiety is a concern. If that's a thing on land where you could at least get out of your Tesla and go for a walk, imagine how bad it would be stranded out on the water. Pure claims its system will last 40 hours at a mellow pace of 3 miles an hour. According to Reveille, battery life really depends on the size of the boat and water conditions. We had four people on a 27-foot boat, hit a top speed of 19 miles an hour, and cruised around for maybe 15 minutes and had no concerns. Do you guys offer like a maintenance plan? I know that's a big thing for yeah, motors, so, basically. Great question. Most boats need a lot of maintenance, and it's a huge issue. We've designed this for zero maintenance. We have no seawater loop, so the salt water that gets inside almost every outboard motor doesn't get inside ours. How big a boat can this work for? I mean, are you going to see these in yachts anytime soon? So. Boating is a little bit different than over-the-road vehicles because even a small motor can push a large boat in what they call displacement mode. So if it goes slowly, you could push a, push a large sailboat in and out of the harbor with a small motor. The propeller is larger than normal because with an electric motor, you can go at a lower RPM and have a larger propeller, which would normally stall out a gas motor because they have no torque at zero RPM, where we can have a larger prop that's about 30% more efficient than the propeller a uh, gas motor uses. Do you know what you're going to charge people for this whole setup? So we haven't announced final pricing, but ballpark, the, the outboard motor will be around $6,000 compared to about $5,000 for an equivalent gas outboard. And then the battery packs, which are each six kilowatt hours, will cost about $6,000 each. Of course I want to see this company succeed. Reveille is a smart and impressive founder tackling a huge environmental issue. Pure Watercraft has yet to raise a round of funding, but It'll be interesting to see if that changes now that its systems are getting out on the water.